is my great pleasure to welcome you to the ninth session of the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues. Many of you have traveled long distances to be here today, and I thank you very much. Indigenous peoples often live in the most isolated places on Earth, from the Arctic to the African savannah. But the United Nations is working to make sure that indigenous people themselves are not isolated. You have a unique place in the global community. You are full and equal members of the United Nations family. And we will continue to support and protect your human rights and fundamental freedoms and your right to pursue social and economic development. I attach great importance to the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, which was adopted in September 2007. In that landmark document, UN member states and indigenous peoples sought to reconcile with their painful histories and resolved to move forward together towards the human rights, justice, and development for all. I congratulate you once again on this achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made a significant progress on indigenous people's issues at the United Nations over the past 40 years. Apart from the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, other notable achievements include the establishment of this permanent forum, the mandate of the Special Rapporteur, and the expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous peoples. Indigenous issues are more prominent on the international ed agenda than ever before. And yet, we cannot even begin to be content with our progress. The first ever United Nations report on the state of the world's indigenous peoples in January set out some alarming statistics. Indigenous peoples suffer high levels of poverty health problems, crime, and human rights abuses all over the world. You make up some 5% of the world's population, but one-third of the world's poorest. In some countries, an indigenous person is 600 times more likely to contract tuberculosis than the general population. In others, an indigenous child can expect to die 20 years earlier than his non-native compatriots. Every day, indigenous communities face issues of violence, brutality, and dispossession. Indigenous cultures, languages, and ways of life are under constant threat from climate change, armed conflict, lack of educational opportunities, and discrimination. Elsewhere, your cultures are being distorted, commodified, and used to generate profits which do not benefit indigenous people and can even lead to harm. This is not only a tragedy for indigenous, indigenous peoples, it is a tragedy for the whole world. Slowly but surely, people are coming to understand that the well-being and sustainability of indigenous peoples are matters that concern us all. Diversity is strength in cultures and in languages, just as it is in ecosystems. The loss of irreplaceable cultural practices and means of artistic expression makes us all poorer wherever our roots may lie. According to current forecast, 90% of all languages could disappear within 100 years. The loss of these languages erodes an essential component of a group's identity. That is why the special theme of your forum this year, development with culture and identity, is particularly appropriate. It highlights the need to craft policy measures that promote development while respecting indigenous peoples' values and traditions. We need development that is underpinned by the values of reciprocity, solidarity, and collectivity. And we need development 
that allows indigenous peoples to exercise their right to self-determination through participation in decision-making on an equal basis. Ladies and gentlemen, the United Nations will continue to support you. I call on all governments, indigenous peoples, the UN system, and all other partners to ensure that the vision behind the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples becomes a reality for all. I wish you a very successful forum, and thank you very much. Mr. Secretary General, Chair Person, members of the Permanent Forum on Indigenous uh, Population, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great uh, pleasure to attend the opening meeting of the Forum on Indigenous Issues. I am greatly honored to preside over this great number of the uh, members of the Indigenous Peoples in the United Nations. This uh, issue that is uh, dealt with uh, by this meeting, which is uh, development in, uh, within identity and uh, culture, relates to the rights of uh, indigenous people. Uh, this is an essential issue uh, on which uh, the work is based uh, in uh, uh, issues uh, on human rights. The Declaration ensures the participation of peoples in uh, uh, development uh, issues completely, including consultation in formulating the development programs and policies. The, the indigenous peoples have suffered uh, uh, from uh, injustice throughout history, including languishing under imperialism and colonialism and divesting them of uh, the territories and the resources uh, together with suppression and discrimination against them. Today, many indigenous peoples are still suffering from poverty and oppression. They are deprived of the right to development. It is high time now to consider the industrialization and modernization and the role on the uh, culture and identities of the indigenous peoples and how they compromise their natural resources. Uh, development uh, should go on through cooperation among countries taking into account the identities and uh, uh, the cultures of the indigenous peoples. Uh, if there is a cooperation, a universal co cooperation based on good faith, it would benefit inevitably not only the indigenous peoples, but uh, enriching the uh, society and environment at large. It would affect it uh, positively. In conclusion, I wish uh, to commend the uh, permanent forum on indigenous issues that uh, combines both the indigenous people and the member states in the United Nations organizations on its commitment uh, to the rights of the indigenous peoples and I wish them all success in uh, your ninth uh, session. Thank you.